We have experienced the largest crowds in any revival, local church revival we've ever had. We have seen the largest number of people come to know Jesus that we have ever seen in a revival in this local church. We have seen more people baptized in water during a revival. And look at all these over here that are going to be baptized tonight and many that are in there than we've ever had in any revival in this church. I want us to have the largest love offering for an evangelist. How many of you believe that that should just go right in hand with everything that has happened? Come on, how many of you believe that? Tonight, Cheryl and I have made an investment in this ministry, and I know many of you, as I probably have waited till the last night, to give in this offering, and that's okay. I don't blame you. You want to see what you're getting. How I many believe we got something? And obviously, we don't want to make a pull for money when there are a lot of people who need Jesus in the house, many of whom the devil tells them when they come to church. That's all that church wants is my money. Isn't that funny how the devil doesn't say that when we go to Walmart? <laughs> how many of y'all believe all Walmart wants from you is your money? <laughs> what Walmart sells, you'll be out of in a week or two. You have to go back and get some more. These folks over in the prayer room are getting something that will last throughout all of eternity. Thank God. Thank God. So tonight... Cheryl and I are giving $100 in this revival offering, and I need some of you guys to follow your pastor. Let's really invest, not just as a thank you for what's happened this week in our church, but Scott doesn't just go to the large churches. He goes to a lot of small churches in the small towns. I mean, believe that God loves small towns just like he loves Bossier and Shreveport, going to Africa. So tonight, join me in giving. I want the ushers to come, take their place, get ready for the people to give in this offering tonight. Looks like we have our Teen Challenge fellas tonight. Amen. Thank you, guys. These good-looking boys. Transformed by the power of God, that ought to make you want to give. Praise the Lord. If you're making out a check, make it out to Central Assembly. Thank you for responding to your pastor tonight. Our offerings have not been as they have been in the past for a meeting of this size. And I know that when you hear that, you'll know that it's very important that you give tonight, and I know God will bless you. See, this is a little different. Not only have we had a great preacher, how many of you enjoyed these great musicians and singers? <laughs> Praise God. Brother Kent has blessed us. Brother Matt Albritton, how many of you appreciate this young evangelist, this youth evangelist? Amen. They have come. They've been in the schools. Our brother that was the illusionist in the schools this past two days. We have worked. But how many of you are glad the Lord has worked with us? Praise the Lord. So, Father, we bring this love offering to you. And I thank you for Dr. Scott Camp, a man who so humbly ministers the Word of God with effectiveness whom you've gifted, Lord, to reach not only the young, but the teenagers, the moms and dads. We've seen whole families baptized this week. Thank you for that, Lord. And I pray your blessing upon him and his team. Lord, I ask God that this offering will delight you 
and that the angels will rejoice continually, not only over those saved tonight, but those who will continue to come to know Jesus in the days and weeks to come through their testimony. Bless this offering now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you as you worship the Lord.